All right, so the Blue Jays fall short, but they have been playing better lately. The offense is starting to pick up. Yep. And Teoscar Hernandez is a big part of that lineup, although he's not the first guy people think of. They no, think because of and yeah. Guy Jr., but he's a big part of it. He's a huge part, and he's a, he's a big reason uh, if the Jays are going to go anywhere and, and win a chip at some point with this, you know, slew of players that they have, this cream of the crop type players. Teoscar Hernandez is in that in that mix. And and I go back to 18 Al when I when I had a chance to do some games for the Jays and watched him sort of you know, sort of go through this little bit of a roller coaster type of season. I mean, type of career, as some guys do. And this is the one thing that stood out to me. Uh, yeah. He seemed bored with the game. Mishaps, I understand. Errors, they happen. But when you sort of are bored or sort of uninterested, it, it shows. And John Gibbons, old school manager, you know, that was there at the time, just had had enough. And, and, and I was saying, when at some point is Tiasco Hernandez going to tap into his, his talent bank and go out and be a star, right? I mean, this is just things that just can't right. happen on the field. And he was sort of trying to play himself into a DH role. He was, a, he was sort of, it was laughable. It was like after the games, why we have to talk about this? Then all of a sudden, he was like, wait a minute. I know I'm talented. I know I can play this game at a high level. And it showed in the numbers across the board, not only offensively, but defensively. Offensively, this, was, uh, this has always been there. He has always been able to do this. Foul pole to foul pole, and then he said, look, I can do some other things. I can steal bags. He has career, you know, best in stolen bags last year, 12. All these little things has added to him being in a position where he can get his bag, that money bag. Because these players, that one, he's rich, right? George <laughs> Springer, he's rich. He came there. He's going to be rich <laughs> at some point soon, along with Bo Bichette. So all these guys are going, look. I'm going to be here for a long time, so you might as well come on and be a part of this because we're going to be here. We're going to be here for a while, and if we want to win, we need Teoscar Hernandez yeah. to be this guy. You can't be a guy that sort of come on the scene and look like you want to be a DH. You're better than that. And to see him smile, he has a beautiful smile. He plays the game with a lot of flair, and he loves to be in these type of moments. I, I, I saw it. He, he loves to have the game on the line and him be in that box. So you see Look at the this. DRS, right? And it's drastically changed for the better of him understanding that he has to pay attention to detail. You have to be on the field and be interested in going out there and making something happen, whether you're 0 for 4, because when he started this year, he struggled. Yeah. Right? He struggled. You look at the first 20 games, you're like, well, I, you know, he dealt with some injuries. But it just, pitchers were paying attention to detail at how good he was last year. Career year across the board, you know, with 30 plus homers, 100 plus RBIs. He's a star. He's a top tier player in this game. And that shows in the last 23. Yeah. But when you have certain things that happen early, it can derail you to not being a guy in, in a position where you plan on a good team. You look at certain players that shouldn't be on certain teams. Tommy Pham should not be playing in Cincinnati. It just shouldn't be happening. Tommy Pham is a better player than what, he, what he's shown because guess what? When you're not doing certain things that you need to do, then you end up on Cincinnati. And you can say, well, Cincinnati, why you, why you going to beat up on them? Well, Cincinnati is a team that was close, and then they said they want to, you know, rebuild. Right. That's fine. I believe Tommy Pham is a better player and should be on the team that's contending, that's, that's, that's better. Yeah. But he put himself in that situation. I believe Tiasco Hernandez is a player that was going down that road and decided, you know what, I'm way better than this. Yeah, he's and I'm going to be... show you because he's 29 years of age. Right, He's not 23, he's not 24, he's 29. Wow. And he has to put himself in a position where this is the real deal. And this is what I, I enjoy watching because I saw this in 18. I was just wondering what needs to happen. Did he need to be humbled? Yeah. Well, the game humbled him, and now he's in a position to be, he should be He should be applauded because yeah. you know he had to have some – there were some tough conversations. Yes. And he probably had tough conversations with himself, but he's turned it around. To that mirror, that mirror is a beast. When you look into it, every once in a while, I'll tell you some stuff.